chasing all the lights And as the bass keep pounding on me, baby I really wanna make you mine Welcome back to my YouTube channel or if you're just joining us now, welcome! We've got a primal call and I'm so so excited because I believe this will be the first one in 2021 because I think Primark was well closed when we went into 2021 so I feel like this is the first one which is actually really exciting and I went and did a cum shop with me which I uploaded on Monday which if you haven't seen I'll have it linked in the description or in a card so make sure you check that out because you got to see what was actually in um, but this is actually the items that I bought. I'm in a little bit of a huff this morning guys not gonna lie I just feel a little bit shit Luna my dog is getting her speed operation tomorrow and it's just making us feel a little bit rubbish I have lots of work that I need to do the kitchen's an absolute mess and honestly when I have it to do this that's long I get really anxious, really nervous, and instead of just actually working my way through the to-do list and doing the things, I get in a halt and I'm just like, okay, I can't do anything because I have too much to do. So I stab myself in the back, but I'm proceeding and I'm going to film this video anyway because I know I'll actually feel worse tonight if I don't get what I need to do done, done. Just going along with it, we're going to see how it goes, and I had a right mare this morning trying to get the office set up to work. I didn't like the lighting in the office with my studio lights or with the natural daylight. It didn't look very good at all, and I've just realised I think you're wonky. Okay, I've slightly adjusted the camera because I felt like it was a little bit wonky. But yeah, so this morning I really didn't like the way that the office lighting was looking or how the office vibe was. So I thought, okay, I can't film where I usually like to film my haul videos, which is in the dressing room because my partner Sean works night shifts and he's currently in bed. So I couldn't film in there because I'd be waking him up. So I was like, well, I can't film in the kitchen because filming a clothing haul in the kitchen is a bit weird. Plus the lighting in there was shit anyway. So I thought we'll try in the living room. So yeah, I'm not really sure how I feel. I mean, I feel like the lighting's okay, but I'm not really sure how I feel about the whole living room vibes. But let us know, or don't, because I'll probably feel like shit if you tell you don't like it, because today I had no other option, really. So anyway, we're just gonna crack on. I have a big Primark haul, which I'm so excited about. I'm really excited about the things that I got. I spent 150 pound. Honestly, I thought I'd spent more, because I feel like I did get quite a bit for my money. Without further ado, right, I'm just gonna get straight into the Primark haul and show you what I got. So the first thing that I picked up is this little summer cardigan with a vest top underneath. I really like this. I got it in an XL and it was £10 and it's white and it's just kind of like got a very subtle rib detailing. It's got a little tie but what I really liked about this top is it actually came with the little vest top underneath because when I seen these on Pretty Little Thing it was only ever the cardigan with a tie and I was like yeah i kind of need a little matching vest top to go underneath because my boobs and the way that my body is this little cardigan would just not sit well on its own with by me and it's got little frill arms as well which i really like um but yeah i really like this and i think for a nice picnic with some denim shorts just like so many ways you could wear this and i think it's such a cute little spring piece this is the little like cardigan and vest top i really like the way this looks and i don't actually own anything like this i think it looks so girly and cute i definitely couldn't wear it without the vest top underneath though because my boobs would literally be on display but i think it's so so cute girly picnics in the park like i really do like the style of it and i definitely will be keeping it and it's a nice fit as well and i like the little frills like it feels really girly which i'm just not that girly but i feel like i could vibe with it Okay, so if you watched the Come Shop With Me, I actually spoke about how much I love these and I always pick them up from Primark. It's one of their beach shirts. I think their beach shirts are so, so versatile because they're amazing if you want to get them and layer stuff on top of them or they're amazing if you just want to wear them as a shirt, a beach overflow. Um, so I got an XL and the price isn't actually on it. The price has come off, but I think it might have been about eight to ten pound. Um, but it's just a white sheer beach shirt. This is what it looks like. Now, they are very sheer, but that's why I think they're quite nice for layering because they're quite light and if you want to lay, layer going into spring but it's hot it's not going to add like a heat layer to you so I quite like them it's just got little rolled up arms they're quite long as well so they're quite long shirts but not long enough to wear as a dress shirt but they're definitely long enough to kind of like layer it has got the price on sorry it was eight pound and like I said I really like these I have a few of them in my wardrobe but I just thought I'd pick another one up while I was there okay this is the shirt I absolutely love this it's like all my other ones super baggy it's a light airy material why do I really feel like a painter in it and what I love about the Primark shirts is they have slits up the side so you can literally tie them and make like 
so many cute alternative outfits with it but i absolutely love these shirts honestly i just think they're the best white shirt so soft so nice and so versatile and that is what i like in my white shirts and black shirts although i very rarely say primark do the black version of these shirts but I'm here for the white, so no worries. I'll let you off Primark. The next thing that I got is a swimsuit. I actually realised I don't have that many swimsuits. So I'm not sure like where my swimsuits went or if I've left them at my mum's when I moved over at my own house or what happened. But I literally have three in my drawer and I'm not sure where they've gone. So I was just like, okay, I'm going to pick up a new one. And I really like this one. It's a black and white striped swimsuit. But I love ones that come with a belt because you can really tie your waist in. And I just think it looks really flattering. So this one comes with this little cute belt. This is how it looks. I got this in a... 18 and it was 12 pound and it's very newcastle vibes like i'm from newcastle and i think this is like very newcastle vibes because it's like black and white tsunami no 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 anyway i really like it and i definitely will wear this and i think it'll be really flattering as well because it has quite a high leg which is something that i like with the belt i feel like this is going to be a really really flattering bather okay so this is the black and white swimsuit now it's not the most flattering swimsuit i've ever had or seen um i mean it's not like bad but i don't love the way that it looks i definitely felt like it was going to look a lot more flattering than it actually does um i like the boob area although there's no support so your boobs are kind of just sitting and if you have a larger chest it's not the most comfortable um the belt doesn't actually adjust which i thought it did it's kind of just a display belt which is kind of annoying because i can't pull it in as much as i want to and the legs aren't as high waisted as i thought so they do i do feel like it makes us look like a bit like a pudding but nonetheless it's kind of cute i'll probably keep it because i do think i would wear it maybe like going swimming here yeah, if i just want to have a quick swim or something like that then i feel like i'd wear it but on holiday where i want to look a little bit more sexy i'm not 100 percent sure if i would wear this because i just don't think it looks that great on us okay this is something that i pick up every single summer in primark i absolutely love them it's their little kind of gladiator sandals so i got mine in a size six and they're only six pound so this is the ones the first one that i got i got the black version with the little gold detailing um buckle i really like these because they're adjustable and i have like not nice feet they're like quite chubby feet so yeah i really like these because they're adjustable they're really comfortable and i wear these a lot on holiday and then I also picked up the exact same shoes, but in brown nude colour. I'm wearing a lot more brown recently. Um, it's not a colour that I ever usually would have worn, but I just think this is a really nice tone. And again, they've got the gold detail and buckles. So I picked these ones up as well because I think they'll go with a lot of my outfits that I'll probably be wearing going into spring, summer. So yeah, £6. I really love them. I feel like Primark jeans are like Marmite. You either love them or you hate them. Personally, I love them. Nearly every pair of jeans I own is from Primark. I just think they're very nice. I like the fit of them. I think they're very affordable. So for me, Primark jeans are a win, but I understand that everybody loves them. So I picked up a new pair of jeans. I got these in a size 16 and they're a wide leg high rise jean. So they're in like this dark blue denim. I never wear skinny jeans anymore. I tend to wear like like wide leg or like like baggy leg or mum style jeans so this is what they look like they're just in this gorgeous dark blue they have pockets at the front and yeah they're just quite a wide leg now i've got them in a 16 because some of the jeans that i have from primark in an 18 are just a little bit too big and a little bit too baggy and i didn't want these to look like that um and these were 15 pound which is super affordable and it says that they're made with organic cotton um but yeah super affordable for a pair of jeans and honestly i've got jeans in my wardrobe that are from primark that i've had for years i'm being a tiktok girl who doesn't fasten my jeans up i was being very optimistic getting these in a 16 because they are tight and they do not fit but i love the fit of them i think they're a really flattering jean on the legs so when i do my return i'm going to see if i can pick them up in the 18 because <sighs> christ they're not going anywhere like <clears throat> no not happening oh my god primark's gym section was out of this world they had so much stuff it was actually like unbelievably good so i picked a few things up not like i'm probably going to be going to the gym i mean i am in my head going to go to the gym but i just find gym stuff really comfortable to wear through the day as well or from doing clean and i just think it's really comfortable so i picked up this little top it is in a like really nice soft gym material and it says be active 
uncompromised design and it's just kind of like um like printed on but it's kind of got a bit of texture to it but yeah it's just short sleeve just a basic t-shirt um it's quite stretchy as well and this was six pound but i really like this i just think it'll be a really nice comfortable top to shove on if i'm doing some housework or taking the pups for a walk it's just a really nice item so the next things i have on is the little gym top absolutely love the fit of this it's just your standard kind of boxy t-shirt but i really like it it's a super lightweight material so i think it'd be perfect for like walking the dogs and just everyday use i really like it and of course doing a workout but i don't know how many of them i'll be doing okay, so this is actually a little vest top that i picked up so i've seen these all over tiktok and people are styling them different ways and i wanted to pick a few up going into the summer um i'm not the biggest fan of like really thin straps i prefer long sleeve tops not gonna lie but going into the summer if we get a few hot days i'm probably not going to be wearing long sleeve so i picked up this little black vest top it's just got like really tiny little rope um handles which again handles straps which again i'm not the biggest fan of simply because my bra strap is always going to be thicker than that um or if i wear booby tape sometimes it doesn't sit perfect on these tops anyway so i got this in a large which again i wanted it to be quite figure hugging so it could be risky it might not fit um but it was only three pound this is the little vest top i absolutely adore this so it's actually much nicer fitting than i thought but i would definitely say if you're getting it sized down because that's what i've done and i think it looks much more flattering and it is really tight and i really like the fit of this thing i got is from the gym section now it's these really short kind of seamless like cycling shorts i think they are dry breathable recycled and they've got a four-way stretch they were only five pound but the high-waisted which i really think could be really flattering i got them in an xl um but i really wanted some of these because i went to a hawaiian party in the garden a few weeks ago or a week ago when it was like what well, literally when we were all out to do it it was like the first day or something anyway um and i wanted some little cycling shorts to go under what i was wearing and i, I don't know what happened but i don't have any anymore so yeah i picked up these because they're all like gym ones but i think they'd just be canny to wear under stuff as well if i'm wearing like a long dress or a long shirt dress but they're not quite long enough then i could just stick these under but yeah i really like them and hopefully they'll fit nice as well in at the gym section i decided to pick up some leggings because again i felt like it was something i was lacking was gym leggings or all the ones that i seem to have are in really bright colors and yeah i just wanted some more neutral ones so i picked these up in an xl they were six pound um and yeah they're the same type of material as the shorter ones that i picked up they've got like the band at the top which is high waisted and then yeah they're just like your basic black legging but they feel like a really nice material they've got quite a lot of stretch to them so i'm really like holding out hope that these are gonna look good i really like these same concept as the short ones that i picked up um they're just slightly longer more of a cycling short but again i do really like them i think they look quite nice I like them um they're quite flattering although i do they do short your lumps and bumps but i don't mind that and i do think they're quite flattering um so yeah i would definitely be keeping these ones i'm probably going to keep them all because i do like the material of them the legging version again i really like them they fit exactly the same as the other two i find them really flattering i would feel comfortable wearing them i'll say first if you are wanting to wear them at the gym probably not the best leggings but if you do want them just as more of a fashion piece they're really nice and i do think they really pull you in which i like Hot joggers again are one of my favorites i have a few of them in my wardrobe that i've had for years that i love so i picked up another pair to add i got them in an xl but i really like the design on these so they've kind of got like some artwork on them it says water lilies and it's got like this gorgeous artwork they're in a really nice kind of like grey colour like a jersey grey now they don't have a tie which is kind of annoying because I do really like to pull my waist in so they don't have a tie now I got them in an XL okay the label's been taken off so I'm not actually sure how much they were um but in anyway yeah and it's they've got like a little bit of text here as well saying monet but i just really like them and usually primark joggers fit me really nice as well so joggers absolutely love these i've brought prime i've brought i've bought primark joggers for absolutely years i really like that way that they look i love the art detailing on them i feel like that is so nice with the slogan um they're a nice color they're a beautiful fit the only thing is i do wish they had a little tie at the waist because i would like to pull them in a bit but they're not like a bad fit i definitely wear them definitely be keeping them i picked up quite a few pair of trousers in this haul and usually i'm the opposite i'll pick up more top half things but today i went with more trousers anyway i got these so these are they're kind of like a cargo material pants with a waistband but they do have a pull string oh 
so you can like tie in the waist which i like with a little like clip thing um but yeah so they have like they're just a black cargo material do they have pockets i thought they did no they don't actually have any pockets but then they do cuff at the bottom i just thought these were really nice they were really flexy material i got them in an 18 and they were 13 pound but yeah i just feel like these could look really cute i think they'll be really really comfortable because if you know me i actually hate wearing um like jeans so i'll avoid it oh they do have pockets i've just pulled the pocket so it does actually have little pockets at the side as well i mark up the pants game i absolutely love these these are the cargo trousers They've got lovely pockets because I like a good slouch when I stand so I can definitely have me slouch and waist which I've tied so I think like it really flatters my stomach area. The cuff at the bottom which I really really like overall I just think these are an amazing fitting trouser. So comfy and definitely something I feel like I'm going to get a lot of wear out of. Next item I actually got it in a size smaller because they didn't have the size that I wanted but I really wanted the item but I don't think it's going to fit but... I'll just return it if it doesn't. But I got a Pooh Bear jumper from the Disney range. They had like loads of Disney jumpers. It was £8, um, but I love the colour of it. But I only got it in a large and... I mean let's be real that's not going to fit darling you need an extra large um or if it does fit it's going to be really tight but look at how gorgeous it is it's got this gorgeous like green color and then it's got a print of Winnie the Pooh and I absolutely love it so it just says Pooh Bear 100 acre wood I just think it's absolutely gorgeous and it's definitely something I feel like I'd say like in a vintage shop or on a vintage market for like a few, like 70 quid okay the winnie the pooh jumper actually fits us quite nice it's not maybe as oversized as i would wear me jumper as it is a bit more smaller fitting but the arm and the arms are a bit tighter than i would usually like on a jumper but honestly it's not as tight as i thought it was going to be i thought it was really going to like pull the boob area pull the stomach area and i thought it looked ridiculous but i don't feel like it looks that bad maybe i will try Maybe I will try and size up still when I go back and do my return, but honestly, not that mad at this, and I like the jump bat enough to probably keep it. Okay, going back to gym wear, I picked up these tiny, tiny little shorts. So I got these in an XL and they're £4. Now, they're exact same as the other two that I showed you, but these are like shorts. So I have like cycling shorts, shorts, and then leggings. These ones are really short, but I thought these would, these would be perfect for, again, under items under stuff if i want to like wear something that's not quite long enough then these could just sit under really nice and hopefully if they fit i would wear them if i'm just going in the garden to do some like gym bits or a workout or something okay so i have the really short short leggings on so obviously i bought the like short medium and large um these are the short short ones which honestly i think are super cute i definitely wear them i think they're not actually as short as i thought they would be they've got a nice stretch in them they're really flat i like my body in my opinion like i really really I really like the way the makers look. I like them a lot. Boom, boom, boom. But they're definitely see-through, so that could be a problem. Okay, the next item I picked up, I got it in a size 18, and it was £20. Now, it's this really relaxed, um soft material blazer now the only thing is i think this is the type of material that could cre crease really really easily but i really like the look of this blazer it's got um four little buttons on it at the front little like tortoiseshell buttons i really like the way that it lies like i said i got it in 18 but i just think this is super cute and i think it's just would be something nice to throw over if like the weather's not like cold enough for a coat but you want something on your arms a relaxed blazer i do like it although i do feel it's slightly tight fitting um around the arms it feels a little bit tight and i could it's not like i would do it up i would keep it more just for like an open blazer but if i wanted to do it up i couldn't um so yeah, I'm not 100% sure on this. I feel like I need to size up because I want it a bit more like roomy on my arms and stuff. But overall, I really like the style of it. I like the length of it and I think it's quite cute, but I just need to size up. Okay, so from the beauty section, I picked up three packs of nails. I picked up this little pack of nails, little black set of nails. They're just really short nails and they're matte black um, and these were one pound. But I just think you can't go wrong having some of these Primark nails in. Then also picked up the red version. So again, these are just the square short red nails um i really like these ones and i do wear a lot of red so i thought these would be really handy for spring and then i also picked up these ones which are actually gloss now i do prefer to get matte in more or less everything apart from my foundation because i really don't like matte foundation at the moment i like an illuminous one but i really couldn't resist with a color i thought it'd be perfect for spring they're like a really nice mustard color i thought a picnic in the park or something like that these would look super super cute so i picked these ones up as well i then also picked up some of these these are the wipe off 100 oval cosmetic pads you can't go wrong the 90 pence for 100 pads 
and I do have reusable ones but honestly I don't love them I just feel like they're quite rough on my skin they don't take my makeup off as well as the um these ones do so yeah the next thing I got I thought was adorable it's a tiny little vanity mirror it was £2.50 and it's in gold I just thought this was so cute. I think it looked really cute as like decor somewhere, but I also thought it'd be so cute if you're going on holiday, you could put it in a little bag and you would have like a tiny little vanity mirror to do your makeup on the plane or when you're on holiday. And I just thought this was absolutely adorable. So I had to pick it up and it was £2.50. Okay, so I picked up two pairs of sunglasses. I picked up these ones here, which were um, £3 and they look like this. They're like a square. So like, I think they're really cute. They're quite like bougie looking and I really think that they suit my face shape so I picked these ones up and I really like wearing glasses for like me outfit photos and that on Instagram now because I think it makes them look much more like bougie and nice and then I also picked up this pair so I've been looking at a pair like this on ASOS for quite a while but I thought they were quite a weird shape and I didn't know if they'd suit my face so I seen these ones in Primark which are pretty similar and I was like right I'm gonna get them ones because they're only two pound oh my god they are tragic I feel like they look awful on me I just haven't got the look for these ones. Yeah. And then I picked up two candles as the last few bits. I picked up... The I picked up this lemon and lavender candle candle. I really loved the glass on this. I think it's so cute and it actually has a gold rim as well, which I like. And it smells really nice. And then I picked up this candle, which was in a little jar, which I absolutely loved, loved, loved the little glass jar that it come in. It was £4 and this is the pomegranate candle. And it smells actually really nice, but I honestly got this mainly just for the jar because I thought it was so cute. Everything that I picked up in Primark, let us know what your favourite item was below. And today's secret word will be earth because there's a glow behind us and it just caught my eye. So comment earth if you got to the end of the video. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And hopefully I'll see you soon for another video. If you haven't already, check out my come shop with me if you're not kind of keen on the items that I bought in Primark but want to see what they have in general anyway. There was still plenty that I showed on that video that I didn't actually buy. Um, um, so yeah, head over there and have a look at that video. Look out for the rat chat, I'll let you go and I'll see you very shortly for another one. Bye!